Well, we move now to River State, where Governor Yeson Wiki has advocated not less than 10% fund allocation to host communities in the petroleum industry bill that is still before the National Assembly. Governor Wiki said it is also necessary that the bill state in clear terms what specific development projects that the allocated fund should be spent on so that development of host communities can be truly actualized. Governor Yesom Wike of River State gave the charge when members of the National Assembly Committee on the Petroleum Industry Bill visited him at Government House, Port Harcourt. Governor Wike stated that oil bearing communities have suffered the loss of their livelihood, good drinking water, and their social cultural life disrupted because of insensitivity of the international oil companies. It's unfortunate that people produce oil, but they live in poverty. I believe that this PID will make recommendations on how a certain percentage must be given to the host uh, oil uh, communities. So in whatever percentage, which should not be less than 10 percent, but should be tied to specific projects for the development of the host uh, Communities. Speaking for that, the governor emphasized the need for the bill when passed to be signed and not to go the way of the electoral bill that the president refused to assent it. The IOCs are lobbying you people. Other interests in the oil industry are lobbying you people. I know the pressure, but what is important is in order to reduce the hostility between the, the host communities and the IOCs. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. And to also solve this problem of environmental pollution. In his speech, the deputy chairman of the National Assembly Committee who led the delegation, Victor Mwokolo Onyemechi, said the committee was in River State to have town hall meeting with stakeholders to resolve issues of what should be allocated to host communities in the PIB. The deputy chairman also shared their experience while visiting some of the host communities. And what they have seen today in the last three, four days have shown to the negative. It has shown to the negative in the sense that we walked over 800 meters about three days ago and they saw that even in dry season, we have to use wood as bridge to get to where Shell is exploring and making all their money. They also saw the impact of Shell's petroleum operation to people's means of livelihood, where their farmlands were burnt, palm trees were burnt to ashes, they can feel it and they can see it. Today is not a different story. What we saw today, that a community that is known for fishing as their means of livelihood have been brought to a stand still. The boats were there, over 40, 50 boats lying idle because their water has been fully polluted. Of course, if you are going to bring a dead fish from the river, what is the point of going to fish? It's of no use. The team leader also commended Governor Wike for the rapid infrastructural transformation ongoing in River State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.